Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I heart Aries, my name is Chelsea and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And today we're gonna take a look at the energy for July 18th, 2023. So I already have the cards laid out here. So the first cards that I pulled were acceptance and it says, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change. You have present, present, you can't see that, but it says present, and it says you live in the moment and are able to bring forth the energy of love in your current circumstances, and you have courage. It says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. Then you got number 29, which is grief, and it's Allah, and I remember it hit me. We just got this card for Saturday's energy. So this energy though is slightly different. And I went over ahead and clarified and we got the six of er, six of fire. And it's kind of flipped around, but it came out upright. Six of fire, the three of earth and the nine of earth. So this feels like more, even though somebody's in a grieving energy or a grieving period still, maybe of a loss of a situation. I feel like this is kind of piggybacking off of um, cancer, new moon energy, there could be some sort of loss that you're accepting, a relationship, a family member, a friend, a lover, um, that you're accepting that the end has happened and you're accepting it so you can move on. I am learning that I, I am learning to accept the things that I cannot change and being in the present moment and having courage to face the future or to move forward. It says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. This is giving Leo energy here, which is about to be V Venus is in retrograde is going to be in Leo. So, and then you have this grief energy. This six of fire here talks about, oh my gosh, Pugsley's trying to go outside. He's ringing the bell. This six of fire talks about a victory, a success, but after a long fought battle. Okay. So maybe it could have been conflict, arguments, drama, just a war, you know, winning a battle within a war here, a situation like that. The three of earth talks about rebuilding. So collaborations, it could also be, you know, with your spirit team as well, building growth and expansion. And the nine of earth talks about doing it alone. It talks about a lot of abundance. It talks about a lot of financial prosperity and wealth, but you going at it on your own, not waiting for anybody to do it with you or to come with you. And I'm seeing here the five of fire. So that is right before the six of fire. So definitely some sort of battle, drama, conflict, or argument. Let's see here. I'm going to read the nine of earth and the three of earth. So the nine of earth, a lonely woman with her back turned is plowing the land for subsequent sowing. So this woman has adopted that position because she prefers solitude to the incomp incompatibility of those who could not understand her Ooh, for time was running away and it was necessary to provide for the future. She prefers to go away. She herself with her wisdom upon noticing the danger, but without false pride cultivates a virgin land with love in order to enjoy its fruits later. Deep love for life and all of nature without retaining useless and destructive recanner. It says, uh, but the, but that, but that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it and bring forth fruit with patience. So this talks about patience. This talks about going at it alone after something wasn't acceptable to you. Okay. It could be a person or a relationship. It says this woman has adopted the position because the, she prefers solitude than incompatibility. But with the six of fire and the three of earth, it feels like you are receiving some sort of help to go forward. I'm going to read this. These these re these met meanings are slightly different than the regular tarot. So I just wanted to make sure. And it says conjunction of work, service, savings mo made with great effort, talent, and wisdom, perfect associations. Okay. So yeah, I feel like, I don't know, it feels like a, let me see here, the six of fire. Just flip to the karma card. Um, the village will know the outcome of the battle and the news will quickly spread. Evil has been defeated and the beauty of the woman is reflected in the nobility and kindness of the man who fights with justice as a weapon or tool to achieve success. The battle was a great stratagem fought with true art and science, prog progress, prominence, success, and achievements. Definitely overcoming something. I want to pull one more. Um, from this deck, 
they're not from that deck. They're saying, okay, I want to pull from one more here for this energy for Aries for July 18th, 2023. It feels like getting out of a grieving situation or accepting something for what it is that hurts you a lot. And being able to overcome it, overcome it, but not just being able to overcome it, but being prosperous as you overcome it. Okay. So I don't know what that's about. Tell me, give me, show me here, spirit. Thank you. I can't even get my eyes out. Show me. The Hierophant, the Fool card. So definitely you learning some sort of spiritual lesson and you're leveling up. Okay, you're doing things. The, the hierophant could be traditional or traditions. It's like you're doing something by the book. But I feel like what it is that you're doing by the book, it could have to do with some sort of relationship or how you're getting your money or how you're moving forward. It could have been some bad business practice in the past or a bad situation, and you're elevating, you're coming out of it still victorious, still able to have a new beginning. Um, we got Aries and Taurus energy here and you're going at something, you're realizing that you're going at something alone and that's not a bad thing, to be honest. It's not, a, no, not at all. King of Pentacles energy feels like you're going to be very prosperous and abundant by doing something independently. It could be within your business. Look at that in the Ace of Pentacles here, or it just could be from people that you thought were going to support you and they're not. And so you're leveling up and you're, you don't need their support. It's like you're getting support, though. You are getting support from somewhere else. So this could have been from new people, your soul tribe, a new business. And just You're getting support from somewhere else other than where you thought you were going to get it. But there's something around where you thought you were going to get it that really hurts you with the grief energy. Like you're accepting like, damn, I really thought they was going to be there for me. And now they really not. And I'm just going to have to accept that. And I'm just going to have to move forward. And that's the right thing to do though, Aries, because it seems like there's a lot of abundance coming towards you by moving forward and, and moving on. Maybe you thought you needed something or someone and spirit is saying you really didn't need it. Ace of Pentacles here and the strength card. You got to have courage. You have to have strength to move forward. It says, I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. So that's what it is. I mean, this is this is one of those bittersweet readings, but it's more sweet than bitter because it seems like there's a lot of sweetness and 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 prosperity ahead of you. Okay, so that's what I have for you guys. Take care.